brought me to Belmont Abbey was really a high school teacher, a high school U.S. history teacher. And I had been, it was my senior year, and I was looking for a small liberal arts college. I was looking at Davidson, I was looking at a few places. And he told me, this, this high school teacher uh, mentioned the honors program, which was starting its second year. And I really liked the structure of the program, and the tuition was, the, uh, was, was nice as well, the scholarship tuition. Felt like it would be a good fit for me. So. Um, I like the Great Books Foundation for the Honors Program. I had always lo loved to read, loved history, and I felt like it would be a very um, well-rounded experience, educational experience, that we were able to take classes in, in like history or philosophy or English or science. We were able to sample it all a little bit and kind of, kind of get a better, more concrete idea of what we really enjoyed studying. The liberal arts definitely kind of give, gives you that framework where you don't have to decide immediately or get too specific right away. You're able to find your way uh, a little more gradually. Out of the freshman English class we took with honors, I met some of the English faculty and that sort of decided me at that moment for English. Um, I liked the department, I liked the classes in the English department, um, and then I had just a wonderful experience. Um, Dr. Monroe, Dr. Corwin, Dr. Weir, Dr. Pisa, uh, just all, everyone on the English uh, faculty was just, they were just really inspirational. So we spent one month in Italy and we went with John Carroll University. It was the program they had organized and we went with them. We stayed in this adorable little set of apartments right outside of the Vatican. Um, we could see the Tiber from our window and we uh, did some, took classes, we took Italian classes, we took an Italian film class, um, and we did a little bit of traveling. So we went up to Tuscany, we went to Florence, we went to Abruzzo, um, and just had a wonderful time. They fed us very well, I have to say. We had, one night we had a five course meal at this little Italian restaurant, and uh, we just, it was good because it was a great bonding experience for my class. It was our junior year. And just spending that month together in Italy was really something. I made some of the best friends in my life here. Uh, the girls I lived with for three of my four years especially, we became very close. I still talk to them, we're still friends. Um, with the professors was also really, I think, unusual in that we got to know our professors very well. I would go up to Dr. Thewitt's office and chat with him some afternoons and developed very good uh, relationships with my English professors through events like the Agora, through uh, just staying behind talk after class or in class having great discussions. So I really value the relationships I built here. <laughs> so I think the honors program prepared me for my master's program in that I had a really good foundation in the liberal arts. I was an English major here, but I went on to an interdisciplinary masters at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland and I my program was through the art history department there so I was able to kind of branch a lot of disciplines um, my English background art history interests history interests several things throughout our years that encouraged us to get up and talk in front of others and we also wrote a lot of papers I mean I had a, essays on a weekly basis that were just really good in in preparing me to, to really for the challenges of writing at a high academic level. It's a lot of um, discussion on, based on texts we were reading, so everything from the great philosophers from Plato up to the modern philosophers um, that we would read in depth and then have discussions that weren't dictated by the professor, they were more led and I I think that all of our professors really emphasized independent critical thinking and um, encouraged that through conversation. I ended up doing a lot of work with rare books and special collections at the University of Edinburgh. I did an internship with the National Library there in their rare books department. And it really opened up the world of rare books and uh, manuscript collections. I'm employed at a uh, rare and fine bookstore in um, Western North Carolina. So I'm really like basically the shop manager and the research assistant there. 
So I help um, evaluate books, I help um, take care of, like, do some conservation work with them, sell them of course. So it's nice because we have a lot of um, not only rare books but modern first editions and it's, if you like books it's an interesting place to be.